That beautiful noise of the birds. That beautiful noise of the birds. This is the real music right here. Yeah. The noises of the bird. Just listening to that. The noise of the birds. This is <clears throat> how I'm starting today. Just in that pure nature. Absolutely amazing this morning already. As a matter of fact, from the moment you wake up, it is a beautiful day. <laughs> from the moment you step your foot, uh, uh, what am I trying to do here? Oh, my biscuit. I can't remember. I'm trying to do something right now. My brain is just... Oh, biscuit. Okay, from the time you wake up in the morning and see the light, it is going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> that's, what I, that's the way I look at it. The moment you wake up, just know that always oh, a beautiful day today because uh, you get to see another day. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, so this morning I am here again as usual. Can you imagine just listening to those birds? Those birds are singing the song of life. Yes, so this morning, from the moment you wake up, is a beautiful day. Yeah, from that moment. So today, I don't know how many miles I'm going to do today. Uh, let me see. I'll keep doing it. So I don't know how many. Oh, I like that sign on that bird as I see it. Uh, I don't know how many miles I'm going to get in today. But I'm trying to keep the Mondays, you know, like a couple of days a week to just like 18. And maybe like just... Do 26 three times a week, and yeah, that's what I'm sort of thinking of right now. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of this morning. I am just here, grateful as always. I, uh, I think I started my day today at around 3 30. Yes, 3.30. <laughs> yeah. When I get up at 2, that means I get to come out at like around that 5.30. So 3.30 is when I started this morning. As usual. I like to uh, do push-ups and stretch the body. And it's almost like doing push-ups religiously right now. And uh, building the upper body and... Opening up the lower back, which allows one to connect properly to the brain. <laughs> Believe it or not, our brain is so connected to our spine that the whole spiritual essence of yoga and metaphysics really does make sense. So that spine of ours, connecting to the brain is very important. Because when that spine is not connected to the brain, it loses touch. Uh, it doesn't help our emotions. And breathing into the body every single morning, it is just a must. 
breathing, meditating, sitting down every single day helps the individual to deal with everyday rush of lives. I am not saying you are not going to feel an emotion, but the emotion will be controlled. Certain things will get on your nerves, but you do not hold them very long. I see how people lose their temper so easy and, and begin to say sorry over and over and uh, I always say this that um, there's a lot of people that really 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 means well their spiritual ideology but there's just something about breathing into the body that if one is not doing it you are just truly truly you just cannot because when you came to life <laughs> our mother breathed and that's how she was able to push us out of our stomach because she breathes when you go to sleep that's what you do you breathe into the body to get that rest that oxygen so getting up every morning and not sitting down to take a minute for yourself. You, one can actually pretend that everything is okay. But when you are really doing this thing every day, it's absolutely amazing. I've done this thing for so many, many years now. And just, there's just something about breathing heavy into the body every morning. I, uh, I always say this, I have to create my own yoga. When you're doing your yoga and you're not doing your push-ups with it, you're doing the yoga, but the benefit is just not there. There's just something about breathing into the body. They talk about this thing called the chi, the energy. It's pure metaphysics. So, we're very good at talking about these things, but the discipline that goes with it is amazing. I, I, I'm blown away every morning because I'm like, wow, now I get it. Most of our scriptures that we read that has been preached to us, whatever religion or tradition or belief you are, they are actually, when you truly sit down, is talking about the human posture. How we sit. That's why certain people can levitate. That's why they say don't eat certain food <laughs> because the chi. And that's what I've learned, I've loved about the Oriental Eastern philosophy because they have taken all the things that they've taken that they've learned from the Egyptologies and put it into this. So if you're not breathing into your body. We're very good, we are a very good speaker as a human being, especially when it comes to morals and discipline. We have this unique voice that will automatically make people think, wow. But the thing is, when you begin, when you become, when you started to become like a seer, you see through people. Your happiness doesn't depend on anything anymore, but self. Your emotions can be controlled. Sure, we are going to have losses in life and all those things that <laughs> bumps our head. But without a proper meditation practice, you would just truly, truly just faking it. You could pretend because that's just how your body is designed. <laughs> and a good job was done taking that out of most cultural beliefs because when you watch a woman push out a baby she breathes heavy into that body the strength that she builds just to bring us to life so when we get here and not doing it it's just absolutely and amazing to me and we're very good at it to the extent that we do not do it we don't breathe into the body but we will <laughs> Hold a scripture all day long. And uh, as time transpires, like in this new modern day, 
I begin to look at that. Wow, it's really funny how we're very good at preaching and telling people what to do. But the whole lessons of it, we barely practice it. <laughs> I know how to get on people's, uh, to question people's intellectual belief because especially when you have an African descent or traditional belief that doesn't run with the rest of the world or some of the people some of the people they tend to question you but in most cases all I have to do is just talk about alcohol <laughs> and <laughs> certain substance abuse and just the same way they defend, they defend their religion. They will defend why this is good for you. Why, I, you know? I, let me see. Let me read this. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> there's nothing here. This is a very, very safe. How are you? <laughs> Save, save, save. Beautiful trail. <laughs> so there's nothing. The only thing that might be I gotta watch out for is my I would say this, make sure I put my foot properly in the ground. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, making sure I put my foot properly on the ground. So yeah, I'm very careful. It's actually a little chilly this morning. <laughs> But he's going to get warm up in a little while though, so that, that I can't wait, so yes. So I like to read what people actually write, so I usually just throw that. And being the fact that I'm on the trail too, so when I'm reading, I got actually just really slow down, so that way I can look at it. <laughs> oh, okay, I like that. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> so yes, this, like I was saying, oh my goodness, I tell you, uh, the whole thing about meditation... Having time for yourself every morning, just create. And that's one of the things that, what would I say, that I question about my corporate world journey because I have always said this, like I said, a lot of the people that claim to be in charge loses their temper 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, and by the afternoon, apologizing I just wasn't feeling all that because I feel like if I'm accepting your apology and you're doing the same thing over and over again I am actually contributing and in, you know from a spiritual content I am actually punishing you but not being honest at the same time to myself so, <laughs> and that, that's the whole thing right there with meditation and learning how to quiet the mind. We don't talk about it enough. Yeah, it's funny, like, I've done a lot of miles this year. And it's all because everything is just meditative and how you breathe, how you can lift yourself up with gravity. It's just like right now I'm running on this trail and I'm talking. So I have to lift my foot a certain way. You know, the way the way the universe, intelligent design, you know. <laughs> good morning, good morning, makes our body, good morning, I'm feeling this. It's actually <laughs> very unique, the way our body's made. <laughs> you know, we could be jogging and meditating at the same time. I remember what, uh, I was running one day, many, many years ago, I met a brother from uh, East Africa. And he tells me to relax and run. So I was looking at him like, relax and run? How could you do that? <laughs> but it is true, because that relaxation is what actually brings you the speed and allow you to be able to sit properly on gravity. So the whole thing about, oh, look at those pretty deers. They're running away, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at this one right here. I don't know if I can actually, oh, he's running away too. <laughs> <laughs> so yes <laughs> oh i got another one coming <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> so yes the whole idea of relaxing and and i think right now especially after this pandemic or whatever they call it meditation uh exercising we have to just go back 
to how it was in the beginning when we didn't have vehicles when we had to walk everywhere when you know and at the time we probably didn't even have all the medical things that we have right now so it's getting to that stage right now where health health needs to be number one and your health leads to spirituality you know and when you have a better health and a better spiritual concept and meditate we can all make the world, the world a better place most of the drama that we have on our planet these days is because we are not sitting still so anything that we throw out into it's a bit of a stasis so i'm just gonna walk it anything that we throw out into our society we are throwing out the hatred that we have within because when you have love within you they just certain things it's just common sense you don't do but when you're angry and not full of love yourself how can you help the society your neighbors your family all the things that surround you so today <laughs> that's what i'm thinking of i am in the mood the sun is actually coming out so i go oh that was a good series i got that sun coming off the top of me right now look at that beautiful sun i love it it's shining right there i like those little things that it's actually doing look at it so the sun is actually shining it just came up it's a rose so yes today once you're up this morning it is a beautiful beautiful day and i'm gonna say it's tuesday today already oh it's almost the weekend <laughs> i'm gonna say happy tuesday and let me finish this up this beautiful run of my hoo wee let me even see yes 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 so this morning let me go ahead and finish up and i'm going to say happy tuesday i like the way that sun is actually shining in my eyes and uh get out there if you have to and if you have to go to work make sure you go in there with a smile because you know what everything is going to be okay